This time we're going to look at powers of powers. Here we have 7 cubed, which has then been squared. And what does that mean? Well, it means it's 7 cubed times 7 cubed. Squaring just means multiply something by itself. And that means 3 sevens multiplied and another 3 sevens multiplied. That means 6 sevens in all, so it becomes 7 to the 6th. So let's keep that result at the top of the screen. 7 to the 3 squared is 7 to the 6th. And let's have a look at an example with a, a letter, this time D. D cubed, and then that's to the power of 4. That means it's 4 lots of D cubed all multiplied. D times D times D, times another lot, times another lot, times another lot. How many Ds in all? Well, I think you can see that there are 12 Ds in all. So let's put that result on the top and uh, let's have a look at what the rule actually says now. Well, effectively what we're doing is we're uh, squaring the cube, so it's 3 times 2, 6 is the power. Here, 3 times 4 is giving us the 12. So the rule is that x uh, to the a, all to the power of b, is just got by multiplying the powers, x to the power of a times b, or x to the power of ab. And that's the rule that has to be remembered here. If you've got a power of a power, you just multiply the two powers. Let's just look at a slight curiosity, though. If I have x to the a to the power of b, I can write that as x to the ab. We've just seen that. I could also write it as x to the ba, because the order in which things are multiplied doesn't matter. ab and ba mean the same thing. So I could write it again as x to the power of b, all to the power of a. So I can play around with these powers. What about that one, for instance? 5 to the power of 4 cubed. Well, that's 5 to the 12 according to our rule, but that would be 5 cubed to the power of 4. And, of course, it would also be 5 to the 6th squared, or 5 squared to the 6th. Why? Because multiplying the two powers each time uh, gives us 12. So those five numbers all mean exactly the same thing.